Today, we're going to take a really quick look at 2023 Wells to Watch in Africa. This is just a brief summary of where we are up to with wells that were considered to be high impact at the start of 2023. We've had discoveries, dry holes and wells that are yet to drill. This is the last instalment from our Africa Oil Week special, where every day this week we've posted a different video looking at newsworthy topics related to the oil and gas industry in Africa. So far this week, we've had a look at the Eastern Mediterranean and Egypt. We've given an update on Namibia and the conjugate to the Namibian Orange Basin with a look over in South America. And yesterday, we had a look at the world-class Jubilee oil field in Ghana. So, 2023's Wells to Watch in Africa. At the start of the year, we compiled 26 Wells to Watch from a variety of different sources listed on the left-hand side. If we label these wells up on the map, we can see here wells from a variety of operators, including ENI, Shell, Total Energies, Chevron, ExxonMobil, and CNUC. We've done analysis on all of these wells to see where they are up to, and we're going to give you a really brief run through of those today. So how have these wells done? We can see here in green we have successful wells, in yellow we have wells currently drilling or tight holes where the information hasn't yet been released, in orange we have wells that are yet to drill, and in red we have unsuccessful wells. If we first look at the successful wells, so on here we have the Aprikuma 1X well in Ghana, drilled by ENI. Now this was on the list for the 2023 wells to watch, however this did drill in 2022, so it's not strictly a well to watch for 2023. We also have the Ntokon oil and gas discovery in Nigeria, drilled by Total Energies, announced in June this year. This was in the shallow waters of OML 102 and tested 40 degree API oil at a rate of 5,000 barrels of oil per day. It's a 20 kilometer tie back to the existing off on field. In Namibia in Pel 39, Shell announced an oil discovery at Yonker 1 in March of this year. This was in a water depth of over 2,000 metres. It found light oil in a clastic reservoir in the Upper Cretaceous. This follows on from their graph discovery in 2022. Chevron announced an Argus 1 discovery in January of this year in Egypt, finding 61 metres of gas bearing tertiary sandstones. They operate this well with ENI and Thawa Petroleum as partners, and this was drilled in over 300 metres water depth by the Staniforth drill ship. Looking at the wells that will be drilling soon, the Topaz driller Jacob is on location in Morocco to drill ENI's cinnamon well. Also on location is the Noble Voyager drill ship to drill the Panacotta well in Mauritania. We also believe that the Tungsten Explorer drill ship is on location in Namibia to drill Total Energy's Mangeti well. And the Staniforth drill ship is on location in Egypt, drilling wells for Shell in the Herodotus Basin. This is a multi-well campaign up here. We also have the Tigre 1 and Seal 1 wells drilled by CNOC in Gabon earlier this year. However, CNOC are yet to release any information about these wells. In terms of wells that have drilled and have been unsuccessful, we have the Nara 1 well, which was previously known as Venus West, drilled by Total Energies in Namibia. Now there's conflict in reports out about this as to whether it was a dry hole or had shows. Some people think it might still have commerciality. Either way, it was far below expectations. We also have the Raya 1 well, drilled by ENI in the Angosh Basin, which we have got a video out about if you want to find out more about that one. And we have, again, ENI's Thuraya well in Egypt. Thuraya was an HPHT prospect, which was believed to be similar to the Zor field. It was announced as a dry hole in April of this year. In terms of other wells that are yet to drill, the Aurora well in Namibia, that won't be drilling anytime soon as Moral and Prom have relinquished that block at the end of the license term. There have been no drilling updates for the Cusia 1X well in Ghana. Uh, Petronor farmed out the acreage to Apus Energy for Atom and Anchova, so there's likely to be a delay here. We also find very little information in the public domain on Sinox well in the Senegal Guinea Bissau Joint Development Zone. This was listed on the 2023 Wells to Watch 
However, we believe it was just a carryover from a previous year, and this has been delayed substantially. Likewise, there's very little information in the public domain on ENI's well in the Republic of Congo. After the disappointing result of the Raya 1 well, we would expect that Angosh 1 has maybe been pushed back as well. We do expect Total Energy's Neamu well to be drilling shortly. To summarise this, there have been eight wells to watch drilled so far in 2023. Three of these have been successes, three have been failures, and two are still tight hole. There are four rigs currently on location, so we can expect results from another four wells in the near future. We also believe that Niamu is also likely to drill soon in the Republic of Congo. Looking at these wells to watch, there's a strong focus on West Africa, with little in East Africa or North Africa. We often get asked about doing a video on Somalia, but it's notable that there are no wells to watch in this area. If you want to find out more, this video has been a snippet from a presentation that Mike is going to be giving at the Finding Petroleum webinar on the 1st of December. There's a link below where you can sign up. So to summarise, we'll continue to update this list. If you want to find out more, watch the Finding Petroleum webinar. So far this year, we've had a mixed bag from the wells that I've drilled, and half of the wells identified at the start of 2023 are yet to drill. There's already a heavy focus on the West Coast, and disappointment at Raya 1 probably won't help this case. All the information can be found in Trove Africa, so if you want to find out more, get in touch at info at firstsom.com. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.